realize, Julia, that beauty makes his fault a feasting presence full of light. Death, lie thou there by a dead man in turn. How oft when men are at the point of death that they've been married, which their keepers call a lightning before death. How can I call this a lightning? My love, my wife. Death that hath sucked the honey of thy breath hath no power yet upon thy beauty. Thou art not conquered. Beauty's ensign yet is still crimson in thy lips and in thy cheeks. Oh, dear Juliet, why art thou yet so fair? Shall I believe that unsubstantial death is amorous? And that the lean, abhorred monster keeps the air in dark to be his paramour? Of that I stay with thee. Never from this palace of night to depart. For here will I remain alone with the worms that have become thy maids. Here will I set my everlasting rest and shake the yoke of inauspicious stars from this world's weary flesh. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. Lips, doors of breath, seal with the righteous kiss a dateless bargain to engrossing death. Here's to my love. Oh, uh, true apothecary! Oh, thy drugs are quick! Thus, oh, with a kiss, I die! Romeo! 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 Pale corpse, what unkind hour is guilty of this lamentable chant? What's this? The lady stares. Comfortable friar, where is my lord? I do remember well where I should be, and, and there I am. Where is my Romeo? Lady, come from this nest of death, contagion and unnatural sleep. A power greater than we can contradict has thwarted our intent. Come, come away. Thy husband, there lies dead. Come. I'll dispose of thee among a sisterhood of holy nuns. Stay not to question. Come. Go, go, Juliet. I, I dare no longer stay. Go, get me hence, for I will not away. What's this? A cup voice in my true love's hands? Poison hath been his untimely end. Oh, Jill, you drunk all and left no friendly drop to help me hereafter. I will kiss thy lips, dear Romeo. I will kiss thy mouth. Happily, some poison doth still hang upon them to help me hereafter with the restorative. Oh, happy dagger, this is thy sheep. They rust, and let me die. Oh, heavens! Oh, hell, she bleeds. 
Oh, my poor unfortunate flea. Cursed sight that brings me such a scene. My two children dead? What's this? Romeo stirs alive. How can this be? By my heart, I know this Icor, a sleeping potion which brings not death but the deepest slumber. Romeo's druggist hath to him wrought an ill turn turned to good. He lives! Oh, good Briar, what, what has happened? What's, what's, ah! She is even of death, that fickle liar! Deny me your poisonous kiss! I will seize thy lasting embrace! Oh. Ah! My lord, stay thy hand! Oh. Listen but a moment! I know a way, a way of life different for you and her. I say to you that death's tight hand may yet be loosed from about her throat. In my chambers sits an apparatus, as yet unused, which may, with God's aid, bring your love to you again. But we must not wait. With all speed, we must hasten there, and by my art, Restore light to Juliet's pale cheek. She may yet live again. <laughs> okay with her. To my laboratory, my friend. There, a husband you will again be, for I will make thee again a wife. Oh, my desperate grief. Is there one fairer than my love? My heavy heart says not. The all-seeing son himself never saw her match since the world first began. My lord, make haste. I'm losing my grip. This way. Place dead Juliet upon this table. Mind her head. My study hath revealed that it, not the heart, is the throne of the soul. Get out of my way. First, I must cut a disc of flesh and bone from her skull. Huh? <laughs> and along both sides of the neck. Then, I remove the gray matter from within oh. and soak it in this wondrous fluid, oh. both to preserve it and to elevate her spirit, which hopefully clings as yet to its earthly home. Oh. The body may rest a while, but it is her brain! Oh which must be quickly transferred. <laughs> Though once in its renewing amniotic fluid, oh. let love devouring death do what he dare. Yes. Oh, oh it's very nice, yes. <laughs> it is enough that I recall her. She will be thine again if I but act with care. Oh. Misshapen chaos of well-seeing forms, can this all be true? Oh, passing fair mistress, will thy eye light again? Will your breath come again with rosy sweetness? Oh, will life, that fluttering dove, descend again upon thy breast? Hmm. I feel such love that I weep bitter tears. Oh, sweet Juliet, this love that thou hast shown doth add more grief to too much of mine own. Oh, love, what art thou? Love is a smoke raised with the fume of sighs. Oh, being purged of fire sparkling in lover's eyes. Being vexed to see nourished by lover's tears. What is it else? It's a madness, most discreet. A choking gall and a preserving sweet. Soft. Come, good friar, what progress? Uh, Patience, Lord. Follow me. 
all must be correct to return fair Julia to thee. First, we must test the brain to see if her spirit doth in the neighborhood still reside. If it speaks, all is well, and therefrom we may proceed to enliven the temple of her body. A few more connections, and we shall see, uh, perhaps learn a bit about Juliet's condition, uh, what sights her flown spirit may have seen, what wondrous newly glimpsed vistas, enough to change the very soul. Imagine her like a child newly grown to the flush of adulthood, like a traveler returned from distant lands, enlightened, changed in thought and carriage. A few more connections, and we shall know. Something! A voice from the bat! The brain! It speaks! Romeo! I had here as love Juliet and by thy side! Romeo, wherefore out there, Romeo? I am I am by thy side, Juliet. Romeo, Repio, wherefore out there, Romeo? Juliet, I am here, love. Can she say not else but these words? <laughs> Something's amiss. Deny thy father, refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, he has sworn my love and honor long to be a Capulet. Friar, what should we do? Should we shut her up? Aye, aye, aye. Romeo! Romeo, where for us, Romeo? I can't think! Deny thy father, refuse Friar. thy Have name. those wires! Refuse thy name! Or if thou wilt not, he has sworn my love, sworn my love, sworn my love, sworn my love. I don't like to be a Capulet, Capulet, Capulet. Romeo! Romeo! Romeo, I first. In the nick of time, good father, no, so how many times I've heard that speech? Many? <laughs> Ahem. Fret not, young Romeo. For her voicing of even those tired words bodes well that her soul doth still reside therein. I have but to reattach her brain. Hand me the brain. Yes. I have but to reattach her brain and connect her body to the machine's crystal heart. It's the crystal, you see, which holds the key to life, to death. With it and a minimum of knowledge, one can restore verve to any part or the whole body Brain or a mortal soul? <laughs> Proceed, good friar, for love and I would soon recommence. Romeo and Juliet, Juliet's bride of Romeo. Scarce can I believe it, but just a little while ago we were dead. Yes, uh, attend me. Up here. Now comes the time that Juliet's hand shall be restored to thine. But make sure you do not touch the table. Once the crystal fully charges, it will transfer its life energy to her. Almost there. Now! <laughs> alive. Alive! She's alive! I can scarcely believe it, she's alive! <laughs> Rouse thee, man! Thy Juliet is alive! Birth and heaven and earth all three to meet <laughs> me at once! Oh, Juliet! <laughs> I love my lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand! <laughs> oh, Juliet! Juliet! My lord! She will be dazed and unspeaking yet a while. Her body having been vacated and then recharged, it may indeed be changed in ways large and small. The spirit, too, for it hath, after all, journeyed and returned from across the great divide. What will it know? What's that? Gentle Tell sirs! Gentle sirs, my lady! Oh, faithful news! Fiery Tibble does it! Ah! Yes, my lady! Uh, what has occurred, you neck? Those scars! Uh, calm yourself, nurse. What news of slain Tibble? Speak, lady! 
The neck has been crudely sewn by some devil's hand. Base woman is you cold. yet has by her own hand slain herself, but holy Lawrence has restored her to some semblance of life. <gasps> now what news? Tis the devil's work, my poor baby. You task me sorely, nurse. What news of Tybalt? Fine. Tybalt was not in fact slain by you, Romeo, but grievously hurt hath lain in secret, slowly mending. And now he doth search the town up and down for his enemy Romeo, whom he hath sworn before God and the king to slay. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> Furthermore, Capulet has called yet another masquerade to celebrate the Tybalt's delivery from the grave. And all the roads from town are closed tonight, and guess what else? Juliet must attend. Oh, great! What now? She cannot attend like this. Someone won't notice. God already has noticed, and he'll judge. Hockey friends, all is not lost. Nurse, return with Juliet to her chamber. She will be dazed and unspeaking yet a while. Cover her scars, and be sure no one is to speak with her. And Romeo and I will attend the ball in disguise, and therein attempt to keep disaster at bay. Go, woman, and God be with you. <laughs> Come, friend, luck be with us. And so you see, Timo, Rome was not built in a day. <laughs> of course, I wasn't overseeing that project in particular. That was I, Timo. 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 Oh! Come, Timo, the house of Cagulin. Know thee, nephew, none lives happier than I to know that thou livest. Prithee, tell again how it came to pass that you, so close on death's door, do now stand here before me. Gladly, Flory, Lord Captain, oh. as you well know, foul Romeo and I came to blows after I had most bravely slain Mercutio. It was then that the deceptive Romeo slipped beneath my garden. Angry that I can't quite put my finger on. But I will, and dealt me who would oh, snatch my sight and my breath. Anyone seen surely would have thought me dead, or soon to be dead. However, as luck would have it in the ensuing alarm, Samson and Gregory, most loyal servants to your lordship, spirited me away from some fellow's house, and there I lay for quite some time, near to death, and am only now near recovered. Indeed. There's more. Oh. In the meantime, Samson and Gregory returned to fight the servants for Montague, and they, of course, were slain in some unsavory way. Therefore, was the secret of my living kept low until this very day. Indeed, we had thought thee with God. Juliet, your cousin, was beside herself with tears. Sure, sure. But now I am back, and alive, and no wounded still. I have sworn to kill this same Romeo who thought would send me to hell with his blade. I will not rest until his life is mine to take, as he strove to take mine. Enough, enough, Tybalt. There will be time enough for that after you appeal. And we have celebrated your return from nigh the grave. Come now, our guests will soon arrive. Let us be merry and light. <laughs> you there? Oh, 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 return from her confessional was said, Prior Lawrence. Aye, me flowery ward. I saw Juliet and her nurse enter her chamber. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you. Wait, no. Yes, well, time is short. Oh, our guests arrived. Come, friends. Musicians, come and play. A hall of all different kinds of emails, little things, and all is care. <laughs> Return from out this sinister fog. 
It is the devil's business all, against God's natural order. When one's to die, that's the time one dies, says I.
that capulet and Bruce Tibbles. Seest thou fair Juliet? Uh, no, my lord, I don't. Incidentally, you don't look at all like yourself. I am a master of disguise. Yes, uh, Well, uh, perhaps we should retire to some corner where we may see all yet not be spoken to. Well, unless of course they're possessed by a devil. Oh, oh my devil! 
Oh, yes, of course. There may be several devils yes. involved in this particular instance, but the only way they're coming back, it's not the only way it can happen. She is daughter of mine, no longer. Yes. Possessed by a Lucifer, she is an abomination. Naturally, her walking body must be destroyed. <laughs> Sadly, this task must be say Nature's rightness must be restored. Evil vanquished and, and justice paid. Right, yes, you there. Okay. okay. What say you, spawn of darkness? Juliet. 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 Um, she uh, departed several moments ago, respected wards. What? She departed several moments ago, respected wards. What? She departed several. <laughs> we must find her. No, yes. yes. What know you of this? Nothing, Sir Timot, sir. Pause this stench, thou liest! She confides in thee. You know her secrets. No. No, I cannot! Okay. Don't be against God's law, my lady. Still, I love and I am true. Right. I'm going to remove a pituitary. No. 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 no! no, no, no. this requires a delicate touch. <laughs> Nurse! Though Juliet is thy mistress, I am still thy master. Speak or lose thy cozy place. Truth now or fall forever from my grace. <laughs> right. Well, Lord Capulet, uh -huh. um, uh -huh. um, it began uh -huh. so long ago. Uh -huh. Sweet Juliet, born with the sunniest of dispositions, the most trusting of nature, delicate in health. She loved all, but none in particular, if you get my oh, point. No. But she was ready, as is proper at her age. God, sword woman, you try me. Make haste on our flame, as God is my witness. She was smitten by young Romeo Montague. She loved him and she married him with the help of Friar Lawrence. Well, it was he who brought them together. He sent the messages back and forth and performed the ceremony and everything. Well, the feud between you two houses kept their bond secret. And when Juliet arranged marriage to the prince approaching, this star-crossed pair decided to make plans to flee this town and start anew. Unfortunately, their scheme aired, having grown too complex, involving sleeping potions and poisons and such. Well, I mean, Juliet thought Romeo was dead, though he was slept. And she hauled off and killed herself. Go down. And Romeo would have done the same had not Friar Lawrence intervened and promised Romeo that he would return Juliet to him through a satanic witchery, which he did. <laughs> and I don't know where Romeo is right now. Uh. <laughs> Romeo! R Romeo Montague! Yes? Hey. Hey. Let's see. Hmm. He stabs me, mm -hmm. then he corrupts my cousin into marriage. Oh, then he kills her. Yes, then he brings her back to life. That was kind of nice. But he puts the spirit of some devil inside her. Foe is the man! No, it's made my cousin into some ungodly creature, unholy monster. See? I, now I suppose I'll have to kill her too. Bothersome task. <laughs> yes, yes, kill my daughter. <laughs> well, we must make haste. Come, come, let's go. We might need the plot. She departed several moments ago, respected wards. She departed several moments ago. It's frustrating! It's frustrating! Frustrating! All is as I could have dreamed. And I, a perfect dream come to life. Well, except for the fact that you died. Well, yes, that. Oh, but on wings like a migratory bird away in winter returns in springtime. Oh, so as you says, come back, your love comes back to me. Oh, from Capulets we both have escaped, though I feared for thee. Oh, Tibbles and Capulet, that hot blooded pair will not forgive us. Well, you for marrying me and me for marrying you. But we will leave, Verona. Capulet and Montague's alike will fall from us. There will be but thee and me. Romeo and Juliet, Cupid's blessed couple. Sorrow, too, will fall behind. Our tears turn to love's joyous fires. 
This love drowned one shall not die. Let all who deny it be burned for liars. Oh, but what is it that still troubles me? Dost thou still truly love us, me, dear Romeo? Thou knowest my coldness, my heart's stillness, my life's strangeness. Life? Nay, my death. But dear Romeo, I see you and other people and sing. I am not like these, for I am dead. <laughs> death is a big thing. <laughs> dear Juliet, poor Juliet, alive or dead, I love only thee. Alas, for poor Romeo, he is already dead. Stabbed by the white wench's black eye. <laughs> Shot through the ear with a love song. The very pit of his heart cleft by the blind bow boy's butt shaft. <laughs> I love thee. I love thee. I love thee not slowly, not wisely, not in a grave. I love lives, breathes, and walks with thee, Juliet. I am on fire with love for you. <laughs> My poor baby. There, there. My poor, poor one. There, there. Don't cry, my widow buttercup. I'm all right, see? You are? I mean, lost Juliet. Do not make me laugh. I deserve no merriment, for I have betrayed my young mistress. I could not keep her secrets, even though I promised them. I could not keep them close. And I have betrayed her, you not. <laughs> the fault lies not with you. What's a poor servant to do? You but told your master what he commanded. You could not very well have refused. We are only as much as we are. But what will become of Juliet? Huh? What will happen when Rash Capulet and Tybalt find her? I mean, it's my fault. There, there. You did what you could. And Romeo and Juliet are not caught as of yet. <laughs> Still, I wake it's not this undead Juliet business. Unnatural to the eye and foreign to the mind. It's not right. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> calm, calm. They may yet get away. Their young love yet may follow. In the meantime, there's still old love. Your plump roast, my achy, flaky bone. Let's cop you wait for an hour. <laughs> Randy ass, I do love you. <laughs> hey, later, okay? <laughs> For now, I must to Lady Capulet, and like as not, rogue, should you attend Capulet and Tibble. All right, my peanut butter push up. Go as much I'd like better. Until later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
pale as ash and stone. So, blood. Go, blood everywhere. Seen me. Many swooned at the sight. I could have been alone if you passed out cold. So was I. And so lay Juliet. I. Lawrence's chambers and destroy his satanic equipment. My pleasure, Sensei. <laughs> the rest of us, we shall find the monster. Ready yourselves. Away to heaven with respective lenity. Fire-eyed fury be our conduct now. Screw your courage to the sticking place. God and vengeance is on our side. Oh, God, did you die? <laughs> oh, my heart's 
love. Look there. Oh, the moon rises and shines a silvery smile on thee. <laughs> on thee and me? Was ever any moon-drenched couple as loved as we? Has made herself and her shown to the such bliss as this? My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is thee. The more I give to thee, the more I have. The both are infinite. Oh, Romeo! Oh, Juliet, my sweet. Love goes toward love. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear, the tips with silver all these fruit treetops, that I love thee with all of true love's passion. All of my fortunes at thy feet I'll lay and follow thee throughout the world. Boogie <laughs> Bear, my heart swells. We were so low, I dead, you on the verge of joining me, until the good friar restored me. Life better than life. Uh, yes, love, we meet together in life. In love. Oh, love, God's most gracious gift. Our oh, mother love, by the summer's ripening breath, hath provided a beauteous flower. Oh, sweet life, sweet love, so sweet. Juliet. Sweet scented flower of love everlasting, like, like unto lightning. Like, like lightning. Juliet. Juliet? Yes. I said before that you had something to share. I do, lady, I do. What love can do, that dares love attempt. No, oh, heaven is where Juliet lives and is. And even if all else shall fail, I myself have power to die. Come. My lord, 
With love I go with thee. How you and Romeo killed Juliet and have against all unholy war brought some demon back in her guise. No, you see, that's not it. This, this, this is the blame. <laughs> oh, wait. Back off, Franken Choir. <laughs> Kibble and Capuet have sent me to destroy this. This follow machinery. Well, they. And the citizens of Verona search the countryside, high and low, above and below, even Tokyo, to kill <laughs> Romeo and destroy the monster Juliet. Now out of my way! No, you see, that's incorrect. Juliet accidentally took her life, and I restored her. Silence! In fact, it's not unholy at all. This crystal, when attached to the body soon after death, re-energizes it in a good way. <laughs> sure, Juliet's scarred and cold to the touch. But she won't age. She won't die. You try me, Fire. <laughs> she won't age. She won't die, Fire. In a good way, Fire. <laughs> oh. Yeah! Destroy our monsters, Fire! Destroy our monsters, you evil Fire! Evil Fire! Ha <laughs> ha! Who's laughing now, Fire? Departed several moments ago, respected one. <laughs> destroy! Destroy our monsters! Destroy! 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 Ah! 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 Oh, my back. I must rest. I'm not as. Young as I used to be. Huh. Hey, the crystal. She won't age or die. I'm not as young, as strong as I used to be. This old bone, it's no spring chicken. I was just kidding earlier. <laughs> what do you think? Could my nurse's bottom be again a juicy white plum? Back to young wife for the both of us. Juliet won't age or die. The crystal, could we hold my pistol? <laughs> she won't age. She won't die. But we won't die either. I have earned this honor. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it uh, comes fast now upon midnight, that hour which marks the passing of one day into another. I find it meet that it should be the witness of my joining unto thee. I am so happy. Oh, dear Julia, like a favored dove, I will rise and soar to meet my love. Oh, with love's light wings, I'll overfly this wall of death. Oh, stony limits cannot hold love out, and what love can do, that dares love attempt. Here comes Romeo, here comes Romeo! I will come to thee, death, and return again. This 
looks like a good spot, dear. My sweet prince, a thousand times good night. Sweet dreams and dream of love. Good night. Good night. Parting is such sweet sorrow. I love thee better than I love myself. Oh, I've got something here. What was that? Yeah! 